Oh no. <laughs> I just missed it. I missed it a little bit ago. Sorry guys. Well, I appreciate the raid anyways, B42. <laughs> Thank you guys. A little bit late on that one, but oh well. 10 minutes later, so. Still appreciate it. Thank you for the love as always. Uh, I am back, though. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? He is. Uh, let me just see. Nothing chilling. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. It's another day. Wednesday. Really looking forward to Friday with uh, Marvel's Avengers uh, beta dropping. Looking forward to playing that all weekend. And I actually totally forgot that um, Tony Hawk, the game comes out in literally two days. Like what? Tony Hawk, Earth Skater 1 and 2? Wild. I'm hesitant on Marvel. No, I totally get that. I am. I am too. But I personally, I'm too big of a Marvel fan to skip out on it regardless of my feelings about some of the stuff that's came out about the game the look of it everything honestly i'm too i'm too into marvel to skip on it like there's other stuff where i can skip but this thing it's like one of the games that like i'm like i have to play i can't wait to play it it's a little sad no it's absolutely <laughs> yo what's going on Asalian? how you doing machogu <laughs> yeah the spider-man thing i think it's it's that's complete bullshit to be honest um they had him in marvel ultimate alliance they can put him into avengers game there's no need for him to be um exclusive to one console i think that's that's a little uh wrong and stuff but what are you gonna do hopefully i mean if it's timed I, I hope right now it's just like a thing where it's a timed character like that maybe they get uh, access to it like six months but they haven't said it yet if it becomes timed I'm okay with it I still hate it but I'm okay with it if it becomes locked completely to that console forever that's messed up but uh I guess we'll see we'll see on what happens also depends on um like where they go with the other characters and stuff but honestly like with everything that's coming out about the game i'm kind of like that's probably like one of the bigger things but at the same time like i'm hesitant and nervous that there's a lot of, it's like it's just a, in, on on paper it's such a perfect scenario perfect like it sounds so good but then the way that it's currently being implemented so far it's i don't know i'm nervous but i still have to try it just to see if x-men could somehow get in i'd probably get more excited true that'd be cool i would like to see it but i don't know if they would do that i mean i think i think it's possible for them i mean they do have miss marvel so my assumptions would probably be like we'd get probably at some point black panther um I could see them putting in like Mr. Fantastic or like, uh, honestly, the thing he would do pretty good too. Yeah, Wolverine at one point. Definitely, that would be sick if they put him in. I would like to see him, Cyclops, honestly. If they went like kind of like, what if they went to the route of like, uh, put in like Gambit or like Magneto? Like, I don't know if they're going to go that in detail. I, I don't expect them to. I don't think they would. Love Iceman. Yeah. So, like, I think there's there's a lot of potential that they could do. But I think that I think their goal is, like, they're more, like, focused on, like, okay, who's the OG Avengers? Who are some additional people we can add? I don't see the game building up to, like, a 25-character roster. I see it being at, like, 10... To 15 and then like that's it until the next game 
Unless if they have completely different plans, I don't know. But I would love to see, I personally, I would love to see a roster like um, Ultimate Alliance 3 on really anything. Um, yeah, Khan, uh, Camila Khan, yeah, she is fairly new. Um, she's definitely like new for like adaptations of like video games and um, other stuff like that. So it, I think it's pretty cool that they have her uh, being like one of the starting characters. Lesser known, but still like she's one of the starting characters compared to like Hawkeye or or even like Black Panther, or whoever else they plan on adding. Yeah, apparently she's like one of the the big she supposedly is the reason that the Avengers get back together in the the storyline so, so far of what we know. Because she was also like a a big fan of them and stuff. And then once A Day happens, and I'm I'm assuming AIM goes crazy, then she starts reaching out to them. And then uh Yeah. But either way, regardless, I'm looking forward to I'm really looking forward to Friday to get my hands on the game. I don't know who I'm gonna play the most. I'm probably gonna go between like Iron Man and Thor. Um, maybe some Hulk too, and then kind of go from there. But I'm still, regardless, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see uh, what happens. Be expected for the servers to explode. True. <laughs> Luckily, the nice thing is this weekend coming up is uh, Xbox and Steam. So that uh, I don't think, and it's closed. So I don't think it's going to be too bad. PS4 is their open beta, and then um, then the next weekend it's PS4 again, and then the next weekend it's uh, open beta for everybody, and that's like the weekend before um, the game actually drops. And the one other thing, uh, try st streaming Fall Guys Day One, big mistake. Jeez. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing their stuff too, but I mean, it seems like they're handling it pretty good so far, uh, besides like the issues and, and things like that, that they do have. Um, the one other thing though, since I am such a big Marvel fan and it's very rare, like I don't pre-order games like ever, but since I, I really like Marvel and I'm looking forward to the game regardless, I did pre-order the Deluxe Edition so that gives you a little bit extra stuff but then also you get three days early access to it so technically for me it comes out on september 1st and then everyone else it comes out on september 4th so sometimes that can be useful helpful um try and get like first hands and like the server shouldn't be too overloaded by then so i'm hoping that that works out too <sighs> Order stuff I know will be slappers for sure. Yeah, the only thing that I, well, no, there's two things I pre-ordered this year. Uh Last of Us 2 and Ghost of uh actually, yeah, I did pre-order Ghost of Tsushima. It was like a day before. But I usually wait until like the last few days when I'm like forced to buy it. So that way on day one I'm able to play it. But uh all right, I'm going to try to finish up this game here because we're almost there on this. So I think this is the mission that you're at in the beginning of the game. But I could okay. be wrong. Let's see what we can shake loose. Force Elizabeth Green out into the open to defend the pumper. We have seismic activity in your area. Large scale stuff. Whoa. Looks like you got their attention. Stand by. Whoa. <laughs> Tactical says there's no hives, nothing nearby. They must ah. be coming from subsurface. Wait, can I enter the vehicle? Oh, nice. I can. Oh, 
Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Oh, God. Uh, nope. Is it? I, uh, I forget. I forget who made this game. Uh, it's Activision and... I'm not sure who else. Radical Entertainment. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I looked it up. No worries. <laughs> but yeah, I I love this game back in the day. It might be a little bit loud right now because the game gets pretty loud. Or the game gets really quiet in some instances, uh, mainly cutscenes. But, uh, dude, I used to love this game back in the... Uh, Back in the day. This game has like audio issues, which is weird. Like these cutscenes are really quiet for dialogue, no matter how much you do to the settings. Keep the pump operational. That's the only thing you need to do. Ouch. Um By, I'm trying to think. I remember uh, playing this game back in the day on like I think it was, I think it was 360. Um, it was definitely like one of my favorite games because it reminded me so much about like it's basically a Venom game without Venom, and then it turns out like a few years ago I don't know if you saw, but this was actually supposed to be the Spider-Man 4 game. But then when Spider-Man 4 got scrapped or whatever, they said, okay, well, we have all this. What are we going to do with it? And then uh, they started Prototype. And I, I love Prototype. I would love to see another one, too. I think it would be so cool to see, like, a modern-day one of these games. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Has there been a baller modern uh, Venom game? No, uh, at least I don't think so. Not for a very long time. I still think the best, the best like Venom game that you can play as Venom would be uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, where you can switch between Venom and uh, Spider-Man. That was, that was a trip. I just I replayed that like a month or two ago. And uh, surprisingly, for being a 15-year-old game, it actually runs really good on PC, like today. And it still looks pretty good, too. You absolutely burn through games. Yeah, for the most part, I, I get through them pretty fast. I'm all about, like, well, especially right now, with, like, um, not really any, like, top-tier, like, releases for me so like yeah things change pretty fast i like playing a lot of story games so like i go through those like within days a day or two most of the time um something like that's that's the one thing is like marvel i think that is going to be a game that i'll probably spend like a week or two possibly maybe a little bit more um on depending on how much I enjoy it and stuff and like how much content there actually is to do like once you finish the story and like how the co-op works like those generally are the types of games that I stick stick around a lot longer for doing Ori right now if you have Xbox game pass for really recommend it yeah I do, I do have game pass um, I have heard a lot of very, very good things about it, too. Um, I definitely want to try it someday. At least, I just don't know when. But, uh, I did see you playing that, I think, like yesterday or something. Or whenever, whenever it was. 
Oh boy. It's about to have two hours to be apparently not a huge commitment. That's what I like hearing. <laughs> and that's what I like seeing too. Games that can be beaten within like 10 to 10 to like 12 hours, things like that. Holy crap, dude. What the? My health went from being like. Adrenaline surge. Totally missed that. Oh my god. Yo, thank you for the 50 bits, man. <laughs> Rip. I appreciate it. Oh god. Why is she so OP? What the hell? What is that? What the? Oh my god, I was going for this one. Oh my god, I'm trying to get the big guy so I can consume him and, and survive. Holy crap, dude. Is there a tank or something? Jesus. something is that how this does work psychic tremor worms too powerful yeah <laughs> exactly okay here we go give me that and I'm gonna switch to the blade now Slice, slice. All right, ready? I want to get close and then use this. Please work, please work. Okay, did a good amount of damage to two of them. Oh wow, actually did a good amount of damage. Pretty good. Oh my God, bro, please, please. I get stunned so much and you can barely move. Oh my god. I'm over here trying to pick up people to consume so I can get my health back. Any kind of defense bubble you can pop? Not really. The only thing I really can do is the thing that I'm wearing. Like I, the armor that I have put on right now. All right, let's try this. Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go. Look how much health that. Oh my god. And there's literally like one one thing left. The armor is good, but there is like no uh There you go. There's, uh, it really decreases the amount of free room that you have. It sucks. Uh, 
There we go. Look at all that health. Ow! Tech point reached. All right, well, <laughs> at least we got the checkpoint. I'll take that. Oh my God. Please. I was winding it up and then I fell. I think, I mean, if they call in tanks, then we're good. Or, oh, okay, they got some helicopters, actually. Yep, give me that. Uh, quick flash. Here we go. Give me a ride. No! Okay, you know what? I'll take a tank. That's fine. Move sets are really expansive. Yeah, there's a, a lot of variety. Alright, here we go. Focus on the big guy. Now we're putting damage in. Didn't that work? Nice. Give me the tank. Yeah, what I was saying actually a little bit ago, um, I completely forgot how much use of like tanks and uh helicopters and all that stuff um completely forgot the use of them in this game like that actually there's a lot of missions that rely on like okay go uh consume this helicopter or consume this pilot and, and then take over a tank or uh get this person and go destroy that oh my god put me inside Give me health, give me health, give me health, give me health. No, 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 no. Give me the health. Please. I need health. No. Oh my god. Alright, give me the helicopter. Pull me in, pull me in, pull me in. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't panic. All right, we're in, we're in, we're in. I don't know how much help this thing has left though. I think it's about to blow. Okay, we're good, we're good. Right now. Oh, never mind. We're not good. We're not good. No. <laughs> Dude. Please. God, okay, okay. We're good, I think. Pull me in. Thank you. All right, jump to the front. Yeah, this is pure uh, mayhem. All right. No, give me the, the turrets. The rockets.
please. Finish. No! Alright, give me that health. Oh my god. Alright, there's one. That'll clear out a good amount. And then once it comes back up, we can do another one. Okay, okay, we're cool, we're cool. Here we go. Again, again. Please. tank down here somewhere give me this oh no i meant to consume you <sighs> all right we're good we're good we're good, we're good. <laughs> pull me in pull me in thank you the movement abilities are pretty impressive for an older game. Yeah, um, I mean, honestly, like the speed running uh, or the running around, um, I was surprised at how the gameplay actually handles today. There is some points where it's like a little bit dated and stuff, but I mean, for the most part, besides like some uh, resolution issues, audio issues, um, it's uh it's been a good ride revisiting got it ah <sighs> There she is. <laughs> Finally. Sounds good. <laughs> this is Red Crown Command, Code Black in progress. This ain't good. There is only one reason for Blackwatch to pull out of Manhattan. They're gonna purge the entire island. They're gonna nuke it. Blackwatch headquarters, Red Crown Commander, Battery Park. complete Whoa. you have a million in general Peter Randall hope I die. I gotta get to the people to know the secret of the place and Randall you just made the top of my list
I think we have the. I don't. I'm not sure if I have the one that gives me the most amount of health. Oh, consume boost max. No, I didn't even have that. All right. Well, now I do. <laughs> Finally. Okay. <laughs> now there's still a little bit to go i know uh, it's not too much left but there's a little bit um how much do we have do we have this many no do we yeah we do i didn't realize we had a million yeah i'll take it in air press y i need to know what other uh it's a combat devastator so x and y okay that's that uh, Y and B is that. X and Y while in air. Okay, that's what I was doing. Okay, cool. Now we'll get the most amount of health too. From the people. No! No! Damn it. Do not kill web target. I did not mean to. I grabbed the wrong person. Alright, who is this? Dr. Howard Leonhardt? Codename Mother exhibits odd characteristics not consistent with DX1118 infection. Whether this represents a natural immunity or something more remains to be seen. So, what does this mean to our research? We all agree she represents the best chance we have to crack the virus's defenses. There was two people and we missed the other one. That's alright though. Okay. So we're on, was that? Okay, so we're on sequence eight. Uh, nine only has two missions. Uh, I'm pretty sure eight has three. So I don't know if we just got to eight or if we got to the one right before. Nine has two though, and then 10 has one. So we're very close. Start the next one. Contact location two. Yo, what's going on, 99 vibes? Yo. 999 vibes. My bad. How do you know all this? Every single time he drops the phone like that. I need a better idea of what I'm up against. Get a little blood back. Uh, okay. Oh! They instantly knew. Alright, big mistake, big mistake. Sorry. 
Okay, we're good. D codes, armor, gun emplacements. Great. This place needs to come apart piece by piece. Pull me in. Oh. There we go. Got Saints Row Infamous vibes from this game? Absolutely. <laughs> I definitely see that. This game, it, I, I, I actually said the same thing when I started uh, playing this. Um, this basically was like my, one of my favorite games back in the day on like 360 and stuff. Because I felt the same exact way. Yes. Oh. oh my god. Alright, let's use some armor. Ah. Especially with the later Saints Row games and everything with uh Oh my god dude, dude I can't get away <laughs> with all the superpowers and stuff. Holy crap. Here we go. Right. Give me this. Shoot it all! Oh my god. Oh no, I almost had the next one. Here we go. And the flying, yeah, true. Like, I knew these games were, like, this chaotic, but I completely forgot, like, they are this chaotic. Go, 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 go. I'm also running very low on, on health right now. Leave me alone! Alright, I might be better off with the tank anyways. Did clear a checkpoint. That's good. Yes, yes, yes. Ah! I almost have it. No! No! Let me over! Oh, there goes the tank. Okay. Give me another one. <laughs> 